April 20, Monday of the second week of Easter, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can a person once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord Born of Spirit The week following Easter is devoted to reflection on the Ur Sacrament or fundamental sacrament of the Church, Baptism. The Gospel is taken from Jesus' night encounter with Nicodemus during which Jesus explains birth to the kingdom of God. Nicodemus is first identified as a Pharisee belonging to a group of Torah observant Jews, but he is a ruler of the Jews, which probably means that he is a member of the Sanhedrin, the highest Jewish court of the time. As a Pharisee, he holds on to the traditional view that one's relationship with God is based on birthright, on being an Israelite. But Jesus tells him that one must be born from above, that is, the relationship with God is primarily through birth in the Spirit. At a deeper level, Nicodemus represents humanity whose origin is from physical birth. He, the teacher of Israel, stands alongside all other human beings who are born of the flesh and stand in need of rebirth by the power of God's Spirit. Jesus, who comes from above, makes possible humanity's rebirth by giving the Holy Spirit through His passion, death, and resurrection. The Holy Spirit will come when Jesus returns to the Father. <laughs>